Hello viewers and welcome out to another Let's Play episode. Today we're going to be testing out the Mario vs Donkey Kong, which I'm going to have to do a little demo for, but that's perfectly fine. But yeah, I've seen a lot about this game, we've heard a lot of this game, obviously it's a remake of the an old classic one, I have not played any of these. There's also like the whole Mario and Luigi uh, types as well that I feel like were around this era as well that I also want to test out um, at some point in my time. Uh, but yeah, I just figured it'd be good to give it a try and give my thoughts into this. I think it's thing anywhere between the minimum of 15 minutes to the most of an hour of just playing this. I always play it off screen as well to kind of make sure there's no additional thoughts or something that may have changed my mind or anything like that. But overall, definitely excited to give this game a try and see my exact thoughts on it all. Now I have seen a little bit of this in different, you know, forms, but Again, not really seen much gameplay, so I don't really know 100% the whole whatever. Um, so yeah, it'll be, it'll be very much intriguing to give this a try. So there's this game, the new Peach game, that I want to give a try as well. Um, and then like I said, there's Mario and Luigi ones that were back in the DS era that I want to give a try as well. The Mario Toy Company! game that is for sure. I am very much not a skilled gamer by any means. I always start easy and get, you know, try it out from there and then I'm like, oh wait, this was just the beginning and I make it harder the next time. I'm not like many games in my life. It's a me! Mario, just happening to pass by this building at the exact time it's being robbed. Hey. 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 Oh, get back here. Taking the sh time limit on this one. Uh, I think it's just, if it's blue, I'm assuming we'll make the blue platforms appear and red makes the red platforms If I had to guess how this is going to work. I got a gift. Pick up objects and throw them with X. Water. I think I got the general concept, I didn't realize that I, you know, would have to make sure I'm getting all those collectibles beforehand. So I'm assuming this is like world one, per se. Oh. Okay, 
this switching colors. I really can't do anything with the camera on the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. First, then press the switch. Oh gosh. I keep forgetting Mario does not have much of a jump in this game. Mario can't. Oh wait, I'm just running right now. This entire time. Stupid, that's all it is. Trash can of yeah. fire with this, yes. Initial vibes gives me like kind of slight toe treasure vibes. Where you're trying to collect ob obstacles around mazes, pretty much. Be truly testing out, but thanks, so. I'll just give my thoughts to the routes. You sit here. It does seem like I can just 
easily just go and grab that thing. How do I get it? Rain a little bit, I think. One more stage. Seconds, it looks like once you drop the key, you get the key back. So I can see later worlds, so you like, really have to like time it well. Yeah. The thing that I just saw in the show. This while I can. Something. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? I just 
do. Figuring out things. Oh, mysterious box. This is a time thing. I mean, I'm not going to catch it up there, but I'll still go for it. Ooh, just a bunch of maps. Okay. Intriguing. I mean, overall, I'm gonna announce it in like 15 minutes, but overall, it seems pretty, pretty fun, pretty cool. I, like I said, it definitely works your mind a little bit, but like, okay, how do I get to these certain obstacles? And obviously, it has the whole thing with the gifts and whatever to probably get the different stars. I'm assuming that you, unless you want like the golds or whatever, you could just get the, the capsule guys and still move forward. Like, that's the actual main objective of the game, is the, the capsules, not as much as the, the stars, but maybe I'm wrong on that. Um, but it gives me, um, like I said, just compared to a game I have played, it gives me some tow tracker vibes right here. Yeah, you basically go through a maze to get a collectible, and then, yeah, I'm sure as, like, the worlds go on and they get more difficult, and you have a lot of those where you have to throw the key, get to it in time before the 15 seconds are up, and hope you can make it while using the different switches and, you know, a lot more advanced figuring out than anything along with just, yeah, trying to probably then battle Donkey Kong or whoever else bad guy wise to get keys or unlockables and all that. So I, I, I can definitely, like I said, I can definitely see the doing it in this game. I personally don't know if I would put it on like my ultimate, like kind of like a wish list type of thing, but it definitely could be a game that, yeah, you can find, you know, 30 minutes to an hour to just be like, oh, okay. Play some, you know, whatever. This and yeah, have fun with it. I, I definitely see the enjoyment in it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I definitely enjoyed. I think there is multiple. I know there are older ones now, but like sequels to this and everything too. So, um, be interesting to kind of like look into it more. And like I said, I'll definitely be playing some more off screen just to kind of give it, you know, more of a, a chance to make sure that something crazy happens later. But yeah, I definitely have enjoyed it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it as well. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. We'd love to get to know you and everything like that. We'll see you on the next video, stream, whatever it may be. It's going to be the Mother Gamer. So you go.